Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning English. This is Leona. Morning, guys. This is Blair. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当。于自动保存啦。哎呀 ，I'm feeling so dozy this morning. Are you okay, Luna? You must stay up late last night. 昨天晚上又熬夜了吧？看看你这个黑眼圈啊，都快掉到地上了。Uh, be forced to stay up late. 我是被迫熬夜呀。Mm-hmm. 我朋友给我打了一晚上的电话，大吐苦水。<laughs> So, what did you guys talk about? Maybe I could give a favor. Well, she's already been a mom of two kids, and recently she found that she truly loved the little sister more because she's so cute and sweet. Well, the elder brother seems like reaching the age of puberty, even he's only seven years old. Ah, this one drink is very difficult to pass down. Ah, yeah. My many friends who have two kids have also felt that the older brother is more attractive. Ah, always following the older brother's lead, and he's always running after the older brother. Ah, the older brother seems to be more attractive. 更不喜欢老二了。没错，本来爸妈是想给孩子生个玩伴啊， mm. 但是对于小孩子来说，反而觉得二胎是来抢他的东西的。Yes,、mm. and nothing can be more important than the love and company of their parents. It must have a profound effect on their personality. 那这个过程当中呢，对孩子的性格养成也会产生很大的影响了。That's right. Maybe factors shape a person and lead to various personalities. Okay, so today we can talk about different types of personalities. 那我们今天就一起来聊。聊一聊不同的性格特征吧，看一看有没有提到你呢？嗯，那像我们刚刚提到有一个家庭的因素哈、啊嗯，就是在多个孩子的家庭，爸妈其实都是希望能够一碗水端平的。嗯，也就是我们说的要一视同仁嘛、嗯。那英语当中呢，可以说 treat all the same， 或者 treat equally without discrimination。Okay， so treat 它有对待的意思嘛？比如说 he treated his wife very badly、嗯。那后面的副词就是用来具体的描述是怎么样对待的呢？所以 treat all the same 就是同样对待嘛。Yes， treat。Equally without discrimination, 也是同样的道理啊。Equally 公平的、公正的。Discrimination 意思是歧视、不公平的对待。Mm. For example, my teacher treated the students equally without discrimination. 意思就是，哎，我的老师啊，对所有学生都是一视同仁的。Mm. But you know, it's hard to be absolutely fair. 就是说起来容易，做起来难呀。<laughs> 没错啊，尤其一般二宝可能。更讨人喜欢啊、mm, <笑>啊！那这是不是就是我们现在所说的哎讨好型人格呀 ？People pleaser. Oh, maybe. So people pleaser is someone who cares a lot about whether other people like them and always wants to approve of their actions. Yes, and people pleasers find it hard to say no, and they put themselves down. Right. So I think they need to learn not to pay attention to others' opinions of themselves. That's right. And 讨好型人格呢，总是怕拒绝别人以后。啊，会影响其他人对自己的看法。但其实呢，我们每个人都应该有被讨厌的勇气。没错，哎，那还有一类人啊，倒也没有就是刻意的去讨好别人吧。嗯，但是跟谁都处得来，很擅长，也很乐于去社交。那这不就是我们说的社牛吗？<笑>没错<笑> ，people person，、right. someone who is friendly and enjoys meeting and talking to people. Right. My friend is a people person.、嗯、She's warm, outgoing, and an excellent listener. Wow, how nice she is. <laughs> Actually,、mm. well, she. Should Shares many of her mother's personality traits. Oh, I see. So, many personality traits are actually a chain. A personality trait, personality trait. That here, the trait means characteristic, characteristic, especially for people's personality traits. That one person's personality will include many characteristics. A personality trait is a part of your personality. Yes, like shyness is a common personality trait among young children. Shyness is a common personality trait among young children. Shyness is a common personality trait among young children. 这里就提到了我们今天的主题词哈，性格 personality、yeah. person 呢，意思就是个人。
personality 啊，是一个名词的后缀，代表的是品质的这个意思。所以 personality 就指的是人的性格。对，那有的时候我们会觉得一个人的个性很强，性格呢比较鲜明，嗯、就可以说 he or she has a strong personality。嗯，个性很强哈。或者我们可以说一个人性格很好。有一首歌不是那么唱的吗？我很丑，可是我很温柔啊，<笑><笑>就可以说 he's not much to look at， but he has a wonderful personality。没错啊，听起来虽然有点扎心啊，<笑>但也算是对自己蛮了解的了啊、嗯。因为现代人其实都觉得不够了解自己嘛，嗯、非常的痴迷于去做各种性格测试。Right, personality test, and it can help you to understand your personality type better. 最近最火的人格测试应该就是 MBTI 了吧？<笑>没错啊、嗯、，MBTI stands for Myers Briggs Type Indicator， 是由美国作家 Myers 和他的母亲 Briggs 共同制定的一种人。人格类型的理论模型。Mm, so indicator means something that shows what the situation is like. Indicator， 我们也可以了解一下哈，这里指的是指标、指示信号的意思。嗯，比如说在很多的研究当中，我们都可以看到 ，For example， the economic indicators are better than expected. 经济指标啊，比预期要好。对 ，Okay， so back to MBTI. This is a tool which is frequently used to help individuals understand their own communication preferences and how they interact with others. Yes, so the test includes 16 personalities and 93 questions. 嗯，是设计了九十三个问题啊。根据你的回答呢，最终会形成十六种不同的人格。虽然听起来有点复杂啊，<笑>多最后的结果呢，比如 INST、ENFP， 其实都是从四个维度来判。断。嗯，没错。那我们也可以了解一下是哪四个维度呢 ？Let's learn about these four basic areas of personality. Okay, so first one is extroversion versus introversion. Describe how a person gets energized. 第一个维度啊是精力来源的外倾还是内倾。嗯 ，So if someone has an introversion personality, he or she might be shy and quiet and prefers to spend time alone. While someone with an extroversion personality is more energetic. And enjoying being with others. 对，在 MBTI 的模型啊，两种类型的个体在自己偏好的一个世界里呢，会感觉更自在，充满活力。嗯，而到相反的世界里呢，则会有不安、疲惫的状态。也不简单，是我们现在说的外向、内向啊。Right. And the next one is sensing versus intuition. Describes how a person takes in information. 第二个维度呢，就是从认知方式啊，来是靠实感。还是直觉呢？嗯 ，sense 就是我们说的感觉、感官嘛，所以就可以理解成是更靠实感去获取信息啦。对 ，so compared with sensing, intuition refers to understand or know something on your feelings rather than the facts. 啊，这就是我们所说的第六感。<笑>没错、uh, ，I can't explain how I knew. I just had an intuition that he cheated on me. 啊，虽然没有证据，但是我感觉他就是劈腿了。女人的第六感啊，对，这听起来呢，与其说是性格，更像是一种超能力了。<笑> And the next domination is thinking versus feeling. Describes the means a person uses to make decisions. 嗯，这个就比较好理解了哈，就是看你做决定的时候是更靠理智呢，还是更靠自己的情感呢 ？Yes. And the last one is. Is judging versus perceiving. Describe how you live on your outer life. 最后一个维度是如何应对外部世界，判断还是理解？嗯、mm, ，judging 这个词的原型呢，就是 judge， 意思就是判断嘛。这个就比较好理解了。Perceive basically means to notice things. 啊，其实 perceive 基本的意思就是察觉、注意到的意思。Mm. For example, I perceived a note of unhappiness in her voice. 对，所以判断型的人呢比较果断， mm. 而知觉型的人总觉得呢。想要获得更多的信息之后再去做决断 ，right? So different combinations make different personalities, and my result is ISTJ. What about you, Blair? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a try. You、yeah. can 去做一个这个测试啊、mm. So if you haven't taken this test, you can try it, and we'd love to hear your results from the comments.、Mm. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, that's all about what we have today, and this is Leona, and this is Blair. See you next time. Bye. Bye.